Weird. <laughs> First question. Um, how do you feel after the second round? I feel went pretty good. Pretty well. Yeah. We're quite yeah. happy. Yeah. Pretty it's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, adrenaline and all that, you know. It's maybe dangerous to get too happy. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You never know. You never know how it goes. But it's nice I to come off and feel the same thing. Well, we enjoy. Yeah. We all enjoy yeah. playing together yeah. this round. I think lots of energy. Yeah. And mm. um, how did you select the, the pieces um, for the competition? <coughs> so in one of the pieces we played those. was by Pratch himself. Mm. Um, and we knew we wanted to put that in if there's a free yeah. choice and also it said one piece composed after what was it 95 yeah. so it was definitely going to be in there because it's rare to have I mean I don't think many groups have composers in them and good composers <laughs> and also pieces written for them it's yeah nice, uh, yeah 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 but then we thought and we found this Lindbergh um, trio mm -hmm. which is fantastic it's um, originally written for the clarinet trio and he transcribed it for the piano trio a few oh. years ago yeah. yeah a few years ago so we put it in as well so there's a lot of modern music but it's very romantic yeah, the yeah. Lindbergh, well. very and i think schumann goes really well because in itself despite being a romantic piece it's completely modern it's yeah. absolutely crazy so it's sort of modern romantic and romantic modern in the same program so how uh, was it to play your piece um Playing it myself, it's not that different from playing other composers' <laughs> things, actually. I think it's more strange for us because we feel the composer's yeah. here. Uh, yeah. oh, what do we do? We just have to ask everything. And he's like, no, 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 no. We yeah. just rehearse like usual. Exactly. You can't complain about the hard bits too much. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> that's right there. <laughs> yeah. Usually we're there saying, oh, what a bastard that composer. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oops, he was just there. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the, the real privilege for being the composer, playing your own work, is you can, you can see what works and what doesn't work, and you can change it. Um, so this piece, I think we've seen at least... This is the third version, third isn't it? Ver yeah. yeah, this is the third version, and I think this is, this is it. What is your relationship to Schubert? To Schubert, we love Schubert. Oh. But we find him <laughs> really difficult. That's the correct answer, That's all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, we yeah. like him. <laughs> It's, it's beyond words, really. It's I suppose what I absolutely love most about Schubert is he manages to capture this sense of sublime um, or the the alternative reality. You know, he would just go along mm -hmm. in some normal music mode, and then suddenly there's this dream, um, <coughs> surreal world. Yeah, um, and I I think that's absolutely unique in Schubert. And have you done a lot of? competitions together and how do you find it here in Graz? We haven't done that many, have we? Oh, I was going to say first, Graz is great. <laughs> Graz is great. We really like it here. We were walking around, let's move here. <laughs> we no. <said. laughs> let's live here. <laughs> we keep saying that. Be careful. Um, um. And it's a really nice atmosphere here. It's a good, because you never know what to expect. It might be a bit cutthroaty, but this time it's, it's really friendly. Yeah. Very nice. Very friendly. I mean, I think Bartok once said, um, "Competitions horses. are for horses, horses not, not for musicians. artists." And uh, that was after he'd just lost. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, Thank you for that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's the end of that. Conrad's quote. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still a good quote. Well, it's good. Well, whatever. Carry on. <laughs>